Ja. Oh. Hello, hi. Let me grab some water and uh, you know it's been long while uh, since we did the martial arts, right? But if we we have to practice it, because use it or lose it. Okay, if you don't practice your muscle or martial arts, singing, dancing, you start to lose it. Okay, <clears throat> it's like this. Uh, Low enter entropy, okay. You have channel. If you don't use this channel, copium action channel, right? It get clogged with all the dirt and leaves. You know, soil, stone, whatever, dead animal, right? You have to use it, okay. So yeah, let's do some martial arts, okay. So because. Uh, it's been a while, so we do some kicking, okay? We're gonna kick some ass, man. All right. Uh, we're gonna kick some ass. Okay. So yeah, let's do slowly. All right. Okay. Ah. 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 And you can do some double jump kick. You know, woo! Maybe some knee kick, right? Ah, you know. Woo! I think that's enough. <laughs> that should be enough. Oh, now I'm hot. Oh, I got a little gift for you. Gift for us. I bought this new board, okay? We're gonna keep the old board, but we need another board. So, this one is more improved one because it's metal, it's magnetic. Okay, so we're gonna use two boards now. Because uh, we run out of space too often, okay? Yeah. All right. So, um, last time. What we've been trying to do was um, the general Carnot map formula, okay? We are trying to derive mathematically. I mean, not derive, but we got to find out the general Carnot map formula, okay? It won't be some mathematical proof or anything. But it will be some, we are just generalizing that formula, okay? Carnot map, okay? Um, we almost got it. We got very close, but uh, I thought about it this morning before I went to work, and then uh, I found a better approach, okay? Now it's time to pick my drink. Here. What else? This one and this one. Um, this one. Okay, some leafy stuff. Okay. That's a good workout, right? It took what one minute. Huh. Yeah, exercise doesn't have to take very long time. All right. Just you know, little by little, here and there. Uh, every now and then yeah exercise please okay it's good for you so um
we're going to oh look at this wiper so pretty so clean so new like a baby <laughs> so it's like this okay last time we had we dealt with uh, two variables right two boolean variables okay uh we have two by two table right let's start from there okay we gotta start somewhere right but now i mean after that we'll use uh three variables all right um well this guy's a taking space here so i don't really need this okay so okay um let's just start writing okay uh these guys again taking space so don't need that yeah <sighs> now we have all the space we have <sighs> all the space there is good and um so uh what's cardinal map again cardinal map is this okay it's a very very handy tool to design it's, it's used in um electrical electronic circuit design okay so i had to take this class because I was majoring in computer science and um, and it's such a great class it's like basic electronics something like that okay because it's uh, computer software they're computer so computer science and computer engineering right computer engineering is more hardware computer software uh, computer science is more software okay <coughs> but yeah some of the hardware classes I had to take it because I majored in computer science, okay? So computer engineering majors, yes, yeah, so they also need to take some computer programming classes, okay? They are overlap, right? Hardware and software, okay? All right. So, it's like this, okay? You have two Boolean variables, okay? So, what is two Boolean variables? What does that stand for? Yeah, two inputs, okay? What is end gate? Um, or gate? What was the symbol for that? Let me look it up real quick. Okay. This uh, it's been a long time. We are taking it real slow. Okay, I, I'm doing this for you. All right. Uh, electrical. Electric gate. How about end gate? <sighs> ah, boy. War gate. <coughs> Not gate. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, whatever. End gate. How about war gate? Oh boy. Okay, so that's the end gate. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, it's this. All right, so end gate, they draw it like this. Okay. You have A, B, two inputs, and one output. Okay, A, A and B. Again, A and B. 
is equal to a times b. <coughs> okay. This end and uh, this uh, end gate or gate they use this. This is OR gate A B. Okay, two inputs. Now output is A OR gate. I mean A OR B is equal to A plus B. Okay. Okay. Boolean. It's all Boolean multiplication. Boolean, which is like in uh, set theory A uh, intersection B. Here A uh, union B. Okay, in the set theory. This is more algebraic notation, more L multiplied by B, okay? AND gate, OR gate, okay? <coughs> That's the output, all right? Well, we can call it C, whatever, right? So this function is, is like Boolean function. Boolean function, uh, well, we better use uh, large F because so for small f, we are using it for some other purpose. Okay, so um, um, okay, so large f is a boolean function that takes two variables a and b. Okay, and output it's a boolean function, so it. That it can, there can be probably infinite, yeah, infinite number of different ways. Okay. So Boolean algebra is very special mathematics. Okay, so very very special mathematics because um, its possibilities are its possibilities are finite. All right. Again, we are taking it really slow, and um, I apologize if you know all this, but for the audience who does not know, okay, because this is educational opportunity, okay, so please, uh, you can skip ahead if you know all this, okay. Well, if it's something new to you, then yeah, stay tuned, alright, because, um, so, Boolean algebra, a number can only be one or zero so that's why if you have only two okay let's step back you have boolean function of a single variable okay and how many output this function can have in boolean as a boolean function how many output this function can have. For example, if you have some real function, real number based some function, the value of this function can be anything. It's, it goes from negative infinity to infinity, right? Because you just you're dealing with the real number, right? But in Boolean function, output of uh, output of boolean function how many values it can it have why is it boolean function because output is boolean binary zero or one yeah it can only have two it can only have two outputs no matter how many variables there may be okay and it doesn't stop there. There, there are uh, more stuff to talk about. Okay. Um, so, all right. Let's draw some truth table for or cardinal map for the single variable, okay? Oh boy. You have A and A prime, okay? By the way, yeah, not gate is this, okay? You have input A, right? Let's erase the C. You don't need that. 
<sighs> then output is what minus a and or a prime or, or a complement okay so yeah the, just different notations meaning the same thing okay depending on the context so we have a and a prime okay so cardinal map for single variable boolean function is this okay so cardinal map for a uh, two-dimensional world was looking like So you have a b, a prime b, a b prime. Okay, are you following me? A b prime. A prime meaning meaning not a, not gate. Which is equal to not not a. It just flips the coin. Okay, if a is one, it becomes zero. Not, not one is zero. Not false is true. Not true is false, right? Yeah, it just flips the coin, okay? So that's that. And um, <clears throat> okay, so cardinal map for a single variable Boolean function is just this A. And a prime okay uh, we, we didn't uh, we didn't need horizontal bar here yeah just like that okay um Let me put it this way, okay? So si for single variable Boolean function, let's say f1 of a is equal to what? It could be anything like a times a plus a times a bar Time, okay, by the way, yeah, this is also known as a bar, okay, back in the days. Plus, um, like, a, 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 a times a bar times a. You can, there, there are just infinite number of expressions, okay, but they are equivalent to a times a is a. A times A bar is always zero, okay? Whether A is one or zero, doesn't matter. A times A prime is zero, so zero times A is zero. So this is equivalent to just A, okay? Now, F2, A is equal to, let's say, uh, A prime plus A prime, A prime, okay? which is equal, equivalent to uh, uh, intersection of a set by itself is itself, okay? So a times plus a times is equal to a, 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 I mean a prime, okay? How do I do this? How do I know this? Because it's all set theoretic. Plus is like union. Multiplication is like intersection, okay? So yeah. I, I, I can do this like with my eyes closed because I major in computer science, okay? Because that's what all we do. I mean, many of, one of many things that we do in computer science major, okay? And so, um, yeah, I went to four-year college, four-year university, okay? So we had to take a lot of classes, okay? All right, so yeah. It's either this uh, Boolean function with one variable, it's either it just comes out as A or it comes out as A bar. That's it. There is no more. Okay. But Boolean function 
of two variables, uh, there are actually more possibilities. Okay. How many possibilities? Take a guess. Here, we have two possibilities, okay? But when there are only one variable. Now, when we have two variables, how many possibilities? What kind of possibilities are we, are we talking about? Uh, it's this. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe there is more than that, more than two possibilities. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I was wrong. I misspoke. Okay. We got it. Yeah, yeah. There are actually four possibilities. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Okay. It's like this. Boolean function of A. Okay. Is equal to. It could be something like this. Zero times. A plus zero times A minus, I mean A prime, okay? Just F1. F2 of A is equal to zero times A plus one times A prime, okay? F3, it's better we call it F0 because it does correspond to this uh, binary number, okay? So uh, we're doing very systematically F1, F2 of A is equal to 0 times A, sorry, 1 times A. We're discovering br brand new mathematics here, okay? Uh, I don't believe this has been done before. I mean, at least in a pedagogical way, F3 of A is equal to 1 times a plus 1 times a prime which is always 0 this one is always a this one is always a prime this one is always 0 okay 0 can be seen as in a set theory like uh, this empty set okay 1 can be so 0 is empty set okay which is like this, empty set, a set with no element, okay? One is like, it behaves like this uh, universal set, okay? This universal set, okay? Which is set of everything, okay? That's how it behaves like, okay? So, one, you multiply by one, you intersect with uni this universal set, then it becomes itself, you know. Zero kind of absorbs, you know, everything becomes zero, you know. Okay, by the way, yeah, yeah, so A prime is like A, a complement, okay? I mean, if you union, plus it's like union, right? Multiplication, like intersection in set theory. So you, if you union A, union A complement is uh, well, yeah, I made an error here. This should be only, always one. Okay. Yeah. So A union A complement is universal set, right? Yeah. So it's that. Okay. So yeah, they, and, and actually there are four possibilities in in a s single variable, okay. And uh, okay.
okay are you following me am i moving too fast i have already slowed down for you and it's good because we are discovering something new because i haven't thought about about Carnot map this way like single variable boolean functions Carnot map i have never thought about it so it's good to slow down because i'm learning something new too okay but i cannot slow down any further than this you have to catch up by doing some google bing internet search about boolean algebra boolean function okay because uh, we cannot slow down more than this okay because we only have limited time okay all right so that's Boolean function of single variable, okay? There are only four possibilities. So what's the Carnot map here? It's like this. You have single variable, okay? A, right? And with one this single variable come that it just comes with that uh, this single variable like a prime okay which is a bar like not a all right so give me a boolean function where output is Sorry, I, I gotta think about this for a little bit. Um, Carlo map. For example, now we can erase all those all those and get or get. We can erase that safely. And get or get not get they are all Boolean functions, right? Um So, Boolean function A, B is equal to, let's say, F, F1, okay? A particular Boolean function is uh, A and B, okay? A and B, okay? So end gate is just a special kind of Boolean function, all right? Now, we have uh, A, B, right? A can be 0 or 1, B can be 0 or 1, all right? You can see this, right? Yeah, you can read this. A can be A, a can be 0 or 1, B can be 0 or 1, right? They are very because they are variables. Okay. When A is 0 and B is 0, end gate works like this. 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? And when A is 0 and B is 0, then A and B is 0. When A A is 0 and B is 1, then A and B is 0. Now when a is 1 and b is 0, then a and b is 0. When a is 1 and b is 1, then a and b is 1. Okay, so that's a specific Boolean function. We call it AND gate because it's come. It, we gave this function a name because it comes up 
very often it's very common function boolean function okay I, I wonder who will be my audience here because uh i have this particular political viewpoint so that is very unpopular and also not many people understand my english <laughs> maybe you <coughs> so if you had to happen to agree with the kind of politics that I have, and if, if you happen to understand, happen to be able to understand my English, then you are a very blessed person, okay? I don't know, maybe Korean Americans or Koreans who know English. I don't know. But I, I mean, this translation program i mean this language recognition program that youtube is running is pretty good at picking up even my heavily accented english i saw it i clicked on the cc you know closed caption and oh my goodness i was so impressed they are very good programmers up there in and down there Wh whatever i mean i'm in alaska and google youtube yeah they're in california right so yeah Fantastic computer programmers, okay? So, yeah, it's, they, it's a very good voice recognition program that they're running, okay? Because most of times, yeah, this software pick up my English. Heavy accent. Probably because artificial intelligence, like adaptive, adapt, adaptive algorithm, you know? Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Like machine learning, you know, artificial intelligence and stuff. Very, very cool stuff. So, but what if some Boolean function f2 a comma b is such that this uh, truth table, okay? It looks some weird stuff like uh, one, one, zero, zero, whatever. Okay? It's kind of like differential equation kind of concept. We, are, we have to reverse engineer it. Okay? We are given this result first. Now, like cause and effect cause and result right we are given the result first now our job is to reverse engineer the cause the function that results in this kind of outcome okay that's the purpose of Carnot map all right um, and all these mathematicians computer scientists elect electric Electronic engineers, electric engineers, they figured it out. That's the Carnot method. Car it's not just one person, Carnot. No, multiple people defined it, refined it, and they figured it out. Okay, that's what we are doing. Okay. I mean, our motivation is that human analogical function where, uh, you know, you have a friend, you have another friend, and if they are enemies, then I feel bad, right? And you have an enemy, you have another enemy. If they are enemies to each other, then I feel good. Okay, so we are, it's like binary, right? It's friend or foe. And two of them, are they friend or foe to each other? But so it's a three variable Boolean function because uh, depending on what those relationship with me, Charlie and A, Adam and my relationship me, Charlie and my relationship with Bob, B and the relationship between uh, Adam and Bob. Okay, those are three variables Boolean over Boolean function that we called feeling function, okay? There was the motivation, okay? And guess what? We are under that, okay? We need to do this. 
we are not doing this just because it's, it's inter mathematically interesting. I mean, even though we would have done it. Because it is mathematically interesting, okay? It's a good pastime, right? A good educational opportunity. But it has very, very direct relationship to human knowledge we are doing, okay? So, all right. We're going to take a break, okay? Because I need some vocal rest. We'll be back, okay?
Okay, we are back. <clears throat> Alright. I mean, we are taking a very slow pace, okay, but it's worthwhile, right? Um, absolutely worthwhile. So. Okay, so let's continue. All right. Uh, we have some random Boolean function. Okay. Uh, we reverse engineering. So because that's what electronics circuit designers encounter. This is a desired output. Okay, desired result. Now, our job is to find a function that satisfies this result. That's why it looks like differential equation. We have this differential equation, something like what? y2 prime is equal to k times y prime, you know, when we were doing what? spring function you know now, now what is that function why that give us this kind of desired result actually actually uh, it, I think the, this is just why okay. <laughs> what function why we don't know yet we just know the result based on experiments observations we just know that uh, y2 prime is equal to uh, some constant times function y itself, okay? Then what function is there that satisfies this differential equation? And we realize that um, it could be trigonometric function, like cosine theta or sine theta, or it could be exponential function, like 2 to the x, or, you know, e to the x, whatever, okay? Yeah, of course in differential equation you have what's called boundary condition, you know, you have this constraint and you have, you know that y to the 0 is equal to 1, or something like that right yeah you just observe a phenomena a phenomenon and then kind of guesswork you know you try y is equal to cosine x and you try y is equal to 2 to the x yeah guesswork okay it's, it's an art okay differential equation is kind of like that okay at least that's what i remember <laughs> I'm sorry, I fell asleep during that class, okay? So. Okay? Yeah. So, this uh, Kyrno map is kind of similar concept to this differential equation, okay? Where you know the result first, and then you're trying to find out what function satisfies this result. And here it goes like this, all right? This is like, uh, we call this A and A bar, B, B bar, okay? So, let's just spell it out, okay? So, zero, zero times, a, B, A and B, plus 1 times A prime, A prime B, okay? Plus 1 times A, B prime, okay? Plus 0 times A prime, B prime, okay? Is it equal to? 
a prime b plus uh, a b prime. Okay. It's known as x or okay a x or b. When a and b are the same, then it's zero, zero. Okay. When a and b are different, okay. Then it's one, okay. So yeah, that's uh, I want. To, we are doing this many examples because I want you to recognize some pattern, okay? Because that's what artificial intelligence do. They recognize some repeating patterns, okay? Like neural network, support vector machine. It's all like that, okay? Machine learning, artificial intelligence. It's about recognizing some repeating pattern, okay? It's like this in humanology and philosophy. We have superficial forms, instances, surface that varies a lot. And you have this content, inner substance that never changes, right? So, but there are some patterns, you know? What is good and what is evil, right? Yeah. So, evil ideologies. They tend to lie a lot, lie, deceive, deception, okay? But good ideologies, well, truth is more truthful, honest, okay? So that's the repeating pattern, all right? So, anyways. Okay. So, when it's one dimensional, there are there were four possibilities, okay? Uh, in this one dimensional Boolean functions Carnot map, we have uh, four possibilities one, two, three, four, okay? So it was like two to the two, two to the second, okay. But in um, yeah, sure, two to the two to the first, okay. When the Boolean function will have have two variables a and b, there are how many possibilities? Two times two times two times two, okay. Two to the fourth which is 2 to the 2 to the 2, okay? Do you remember, uh, well, like five months ago, I guess, we talked about this uh, generalized audition, okay? Maybe we, we will revisit that sometime, okay? But we talked about that way back in this video series. It's some mathematical theory that I came up with, uh, when I was in college, you know, university, okay? And I presented to multiple professors. Some of them liked it, some of them didn't, okay? So, but yeah, I presented it to you, like, several months ago. We may, we may revisit that sometime, okay? But it kind of looks like that, okay? So, all right. Now, let's do three-dimensional. Boolean function of three variables, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's do it. By the way, any Boolean function can be expressed with combination of AND gate, OR gate, and NOT gate, okay? XOR, for example. Yeah, we just saw it, all right? 
end gate, or gate, and not gate. Some combination of that. Has anybody mathematically proved that? Like it's like this completeness in these gradles. Was what was his horse name? Kurt Gradle, you know, incompetence theorem, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure uh, you can pr mathematically prove that. Okay, any Boolean function can be expressed with just three operation, not, or, and. Okay. Yeah, you can. I'm sure you can mathematically prove that, okay? Well, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that here, okay? Because, oh, uh, kind of formal mathematics, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, maybe it's already been done. That would be my guess, okay? Other than if not, yeah. It can be done. It can be proved. Any Boolean function can be uh, done in com in some kind of combination between of uh, three elementary Boolean algebraic operation operators: AND gate, OR gate, and NOT gate. Okay, I'm sure you can prove that. Okay. Other thing is too difficult. Probably it's been done somewhere by somebody. Okay. Anyway. So that's all we need, okay? N gate, O gate, not gate, okay? So A prime, A plus B, or A times B, okay? Uh, okay, so. All right. So in the Boolean function of two variables, we have we had two by two tables, okay? And, but Boolean function of three variables, can you visualize it? I give you like 20 seconds, okay? What would it look like? Truth table of a Boolean function with three variables, three inputs. What would it look like? I want to confuse you a little bit. Maybe it's too easy a question. Okay. The, would it look like a circle, ellipse, triangle, or what? Maybe I'm giving you a hint. Okay. I sometimes I wonder, will there ever be anybody watching this? My, sometimes I wonder, but do I really wonder? Not really, because I'm okay either way. Because I'm having fun, so even if nobody watches this, even if all this humanology video series die with me, I'm okay with that, because I, I had fun. Yeah, let's say Google, YouTube, you know, get, they're kind of liberal, you know, they're in what probably within 50 miles of San Francisco because they are in Silicon Valley so oh yeah you 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 hardcore conservative you so yeah I, we will not host house your video series because you're too conservative and we Google YouTube we are liberal you know so yeah we get rid of your videos from our website. I'm okay with that. Why? Because they're not governmental entity. They're private companies. So, and they're giving me this opportunity for free. I'm not paying them. So I'm still grateful to have given me this opportunity to record this and upload this. And because I am having a lot of fun here. Okay. So I'm still grateful. Yeah, it, it is their property, their web server, you know, their money, their property. So they can do whatever they want. Okay. So if this video recordings die with me, I'm okay with that because I had fun. All right. Already. So whether it become popular or reach out to people, it doesn't really matter to me very much. Okay. Because, um, I don't depend on other people 
for my happiness. I'm a very independent person. Okay. I can have fun on my own. Just like when I was a child, right? I play with Lego just by myself. Okay. I didn't I had many friends or a few good friends. Yeah, I had fun playing with them. You know, hide and seek, whatever. Playing with balls, like, you know, throwing balls and running together. Yeah, I had fun with my friends, but at the same time, I enjoyed time by myself. Playing with Legos or maybe sometimes playing video games, whatever, okay? So right now, yeah, I, I love socializing too, okay? Yeah, communicating with other people, listening to their story. I enjoy that. I love interacting with other people. I do. Meeting new people, you know. Or, you know, meeting good old friends. Yeah, I enjoy that. But at the same time, I really enjoy time by myself like this. Okay, so I have fun. If human adversaries uh, die with me, I'm okay with that because I had fun. I had a good time in my life. Okay. So, okay. We're going to take a break, okay? <sighs> then we keep talking. Okay. So, we're going to take a break, and my question to you is. Boolean function of three variables. Let me write it out for you, okay? How would you draw a truth table for this? Truth table. When uh, there were two variables like A and B, we, we had the two by two table, right? Like uh, A, B, you know, truth table, right? Zero, one, zero, one, right? A is zero, one, B is zero, one. Then you have this F, one, one. It's a matrix, okay? F, one, two, F, two, one, F, two, two. It's a matrix, okay? This F. IJ it's a matrix okay and it's a random you can be put zero 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 or one one zero zero or whatever is the result that's the uh, boolean function with uh, two variables okay now you have a B and C how would you draw that okay Okay, when uh, in a single variable situation, you have a, you just have a, 0, 1, right? Yeah, this is like a, a, a prime, right? B, B prime, okay? So you have a, B, a prime, B, a, B prime, a prime, B prime, okay? So in here, you have... Um, I guess the like F1 and F2. Okay? It's not a matrix, but it's a vector. F, I. Okay? Uh, now, when you have, so yeah, F, I is a vector, like linear, you know? Here, you have a square like matrix f i j here you have f i f1 f2 is a linear vector two dimensional matrix now when you have three variables what would this uh carnal map would look like okay that's my question to you okay i want you to think about this during the break okay well pause this video footage and you take a break too. Okay. Take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, whatever. Or take a day off. Okay. A week, months off. 
but not here though. <laughs> okay, I want you to come back. Okay, so. we'll take a break. All right. <sighs> yeah, just think about it at the back of your head because maybe you have a lot going on in your life. Okay, so wink, wink, wink. I'm not good at winking. It may look, kind of look scary if I wink. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we take a break, okay? <laughs> if I go crazy. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. Um, you had a, you had ample time. Okay, I gave you enough time to think about this. All right. So how would we express a Carnot map truth table in three uh, in when the I kind of gave you away gave it away. Okay. So, when you have three variables, okay, how would truth, truth table look like? Is it a triangle, <laughs> circle, ellipse, conic section, parabola, hyperbola, whatever? What would what would it look like in a geometric term, ge geometry? Huh? I I'd be nice, okay. So I'm gonna give you some. 20 more seconds because I gotta wash my hands. Because I wash my hands very often because it really bothers me when my hands are wet or sticky or oily. Okay, it really annoys me. Okay, so <laughs> it's just me. Okay, so anyway, so what's your answer? How would you draw what kind of carnal map truth table would look like? How would you draw this? Carnot map for Boolean function with three variables. Do you have any idea what kind of geometry field it would look like? I gave it, gave it away to you. When it was one dimension, when there was only A, yeah, it was a vector, one dimensional vector, right? When there were two variables, it was a matrix, two by two table, right? What okay, when it was one dimension, it was like vector with two elements a and a minus a. Okay, when it was two dimension, I mean, two variables, it was a minus a, b minus b. So it was two by two table. When it was one, it was just a and minus a. It's just, yeah, short vector with length two. Okay. What if there are three variables? How would you draw that in this two-dimensional surface? And what kind of geometric figure is that? Hmm? Your, your time is up. Cube, right? Cube. X, Y, and Z. Two el elements each. So how would you draw that? It's like this, okay? It's extension because when it was one dimensional, it was a and minus minus a, okay, a prime. Two dimension, a minus a and b minus minus b, okay. Two dimension. You have two elements here. Now you have four elements here. Now in three dimension. It's an extension of that. It's like you have line, you stack up the line, it becomes a plane. And you have a plane, you stack up the planes, it becomes a cube. Okay? So it's like this, okay? It has C, alright? And you have A, A minus B, B minus dotted, dotted line. And you have a uh, minus C, okay, C prime, and then you have A, A prime, B, B prime. 
It's like when you make a sandwich. Okay, you have slice of bread, slice of ham, and a what? Once one um, lettuce leaf, and then you have another bread on top of that. It's two dimensional stacking up upon another. Yeah, it becomes a cube, three dimensional sandwich. Ah, ooh, yummy. I don't put cheese in. <laughs> I don't put cheese on my sandwich, okay? So, no cheese, please. No cheese, no mayonnaise, all right? So, yeah, we are slicing it up. We are slicing in half this cube. Two by two by two cube. Here, two by two square. Here, one by two line, okay? One dimensional, two dimensional, and three dimensional. Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, so here we have eight possibilities. Here we have uh, two to the two to the zero possibility, and here we have two to the two to the second possibility. We have uh, here we have two to the. I mean, sorry. Oh. A handy eraser. Two to the, two to the first, I give you two to the two to the second possibility, okay? And then we have to do one more. How about fourth dimension? Okay, fourth dimension. We are not sure. Um, is is this third guy third power? Is this the one the only thing that varies, or is it something else? Because if you have two to the two to the two to the two, uh, it's like is equal to two to the two to the four, is equal to two to the sixteen, right? How about three to the three to the three? Is equal to three to the twenty-seven? Is this equal to uh, because we do this first, right? But what what if we do the first three first? Is equal to what, twenty-seven to the third? Is is this equal? Which is equal to? Three to the uh, three times three nine. No, they are they are not equal. Okay, so okay, they are not equal. Okay. Let's think about um, when there are four variables. Okay, real quick, real quick. I'm I'm sorry if I'm jumping around a lot. Okay. Boolean function of a, b, c, d. Okay. How many possibilities? Uh, give me one second. Okay. Uh, just talking to my friends. Okay.
Okay. Give me one second. All right. Whew. So when there are four variables. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's why um It has to be, uh, yeah, actually it has to be 2 to 8. Okay. It has to be 2 to the 8. Oh, okay, 2 to the 8. So this formula is wrong. Oh my goodness, sorry. It has to be 2 to the 8, okay. Oh, 2 to the Really? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I'm sorry, I was over complicating things maybe. <sighs> maybe it's just like this, two, one, two and three okay so I'm gonna draw you the fourth dimension it will look like this okay it's gonna be a lot of leg work very very laborious labor intensive tedious stuff okay so oh boy you a a minus B, B minus, and C, okay? Now you have C prime, A, A minus, B, B, B minus, and this is D, okay? Now, you have one more, one more, which is replica of that, A, A minus, you have C, B, B minus, A, A minus, B, B minus, and then C, pri C prime, okay? Can you, can you see all this? Oh, we are working very hard to complete the incomplete mathematics that we have as of now, okay? So, yeah, you can kind of see it. I'm going to bring this close up for you because it's kind of far away. Uh, uh, better? <laughs> a little bit. Sure. Okay, I got a system mail, right? I, I cannot bring this all the way here. Then what, what should I do? Vanish? Evaporate? <laughs> I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus after resurrection. I cannot just go places like he he could no there's this movie fly teletransporter i like i really like that movie okay i think it was made in 1980s fantastic sci-fi flick film the fly you know this we have this this guy invented the teletran teleport or teleport whatever and fly got in and he became merged with this insect and yeah it was a fantastic movie by the way okay oh okay great actors great directing great screenplay okay so
How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 16. So, yeah. Just as we suspected, it's 2 to the 4. So, yeah, it's a lot easier than 2 to the 2 to the 2. Nah. There are a lot of different ways to generalize, okay? So what we realize that it's simpler generalization than what we thought it would be, okay? So maybe it's some kind of disappointment because it's not that fancy, <laughs> it's simpler, but at, at the same time, it's a good news okay? because it makes our job easier, okay? All right. Okay, we, we got this down, all right? Oh, is it time to take a break yet? <laughs> we are halfway through, okay, for today. Um, if you know, com if you studied computer science, mathematics, maybe you are following this, what I'm trying to convey to you. If not, probably you are already not here. Maybe, um, because uh, it's not that difficult a concept, but there's a lot, all right? Uh, we have Carnot map, Boolean algebra, you have this power operation, you have generalization, you have fourth dimension, and you have truth table. Yeah, I understand it's a lot, okay? But why am I doing this? Because I want to better my knowledge, okay? I'm learning. As I'm teaching okay yeah this is something I haven't quite I have have thought about this end dimension a lot okay okay just like I was playing with Lego when I was a kid I play with mathematics when I was in my 20s 30s so yeah it's I've done something like this before but not exactly okay so uh, just playing with by myself just like okay when I was a child yeah I would play with Legos when I'm adult like now I'm playing with mathematics or just playing by myself like PG sorting okay my like masturbation okay so you may you may really get put off by me talking about masturbation every now and then whether you are a man or a woman, okay? Nobody likes it, right? Me talking about masturbation. Then why do I talk about it? Because it's kind of like masturbatory right here. I'm enjoying myself, enjoying by myself, okay? So imagining things like, oh yeah, you know what? Maybe one day I will, I will be the president of the United States. Or maybe all this humanology will be very famous. It's all imagination, okay? So uh, that's what masturbation is. Oh, I'm not with a girl. I'm by myself, but I'm imagining that I am with uh, this beautiful girl and I'm having sex with her. And yeah, it's imagination, okay? Masturbation is just one example of this self-entertaining imagination. Masturbation is just one example. It's just something very notorious. Because it's something sexual, you know. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a break and we get back to whatever. Okay? Let's take a break. Alright. Talk about narrow door. Oh.
Okay, we are back. Um, yeah, we have very long way to go. Okay, but we are making very good progress. Oh, this place is so tight. It's like ah. Oh. So I need you to see this. Okay, <laughs> what I'm riding. Uh, it's like very narrow here, narrow space. Uh. So, okay. Um, where are we? I think we are about to, re we are about ready to uh, generalize. Okay, so. Um, I apologize if this is too difficult for you, okay? But uh, yeah, unless you're very good at mathematics and unless you major in computer science or electrical engineering, uh, probably it's not easy to follow this, okay? I, I, I know, all right? Um, and sorry, but it will get worse, okay? <laughs> it will get worse, okay? So I need you to do some catch up, okay? Backtracking, okay? Google search, Bing search, but uh, at the same time, you don't have to understand this. I mean, if it does not interest you, yeah, then just skip, okay? But some of you would like this, okay? So this is for you. Some of those people who understand this or who want to understand this, if they are not understanding now, yeah, then you are my guest, be my guest, okay? It's not that difficult. It's just, there's some, a lot of, some work, not too much, okay? <clears throat> you know I'm stupid, right? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an idiot, imbecile retarded if I can do this then you so so can you because I bet you you are probably smarter than me okay so if I can do this you can so can you and you can do better than me okay so okay all right we have to move on okay I'm sorry uh, okay <sighs> we'll start by two by two table, okay? Um, something very easy, okay? We have A, B. It's cardinal map, all right? A prime, B prime, okay? And you have this result function, F, one, one. It's a matrix, two by two matrix, okay? That's why we, we are indexing like this. F one two, F uh, two one, F two two. Okay, you assign some random permutation. It's because it's ordered. Combination unordered. Permutation ordered. We are doing combinators here. Okay, so yeah, it's a it's a well ordered uh, matrix. Okay, two by two matrix. F one F I J. Okay. All right, we got that far, okay? So, uh, your function, now we have large a, large function of a and b. We found that is equal to f11 one one a a prime plus f12 uh, uh, what on earth am I doing? I'm sorry, I messed it up. This is supposed to be A prime, okay. Well, I'm cooking my dinner, okay, what is it? Ramen noodle and chicken breast. That's my, that's my, uh, dinner that I'm cooking in the microwave, okay. Because to me, yeah, the, the yummy, okay, my, uh, the ramen noodle, what 20 cents in walmart 30 cents i don't know 
chicken breast yeah frozen glazed chicken breast right yeah oh they taste great they taste so good but eating I'm not eating but I'm drinking right because eating is not that important in my life okay I love peanuts okay I have peanuts yeah, I know it's like 15 grams per serving so yeah, yeah it's kind of I'm kind of violating my diet rule dietary rule because typically I don't buy anything if it has more than 10 grams of fat or 10 grams of sugar okay I read the labels I started this like a couple of years ago because I realized oh I'm getting old so I gotta watch what I eat okay but peanuts yeah 15 grams puff serving but I have to give it some exception because oh my goodness I love peanuts oh Anyways, I guess is eating is kind of important to me, but I try to not to spend too much money on it because you know I, I I don't make much money you know. I go to McDonald's, no cheese, no mayonnaise, Burger King, Subway sandwich, Walmart. Okay, because that's all I can afford. All right. Anyway, okay, we have. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I messed it up. F one one. A times B. Now this blue pen is rolling out. Okay, well, dark blue. I have another blue. Okay, another dark blue. So, F one two. Here, times A prime. B plus F21 times A B prime plus F22 A prime B prime okay right one two three four okay we have that okay so this is algebraic if boolean algebraic expression of a carnal map all right if it's zero 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 here if that's the desired result yeah then it wipes out everything becomes zero it's always zero okay if it is uh, or gate like one 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 zero then yeah one 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 zero so you disregard this one 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 here okay if either a or b are uh, is one then it becomes one that's or gate okay so this is a good formula okay uh i have never seen this kind of formula when i studied karma map maybe it has do been done before uh, we don't care okay but it's a good formula, good pedag pedagogic, instructional, educational tool. There's different ways to express the same idea, Carnot map, okay? Our goal is to generalize this two-dimensional Carnot map into n-dimensional Carnot map. That's our objective here, okay? <sighs> okay. So you have this A and B and A prime B, A B prime, and then you have A prime B prime, okay? What does this look like to you? Forget about this F, okay? Or in a secular language, yeah, fuck F, okay? Forget about this F, all right? Forget about this F and just think only A, B, a prime B, A B prime, A prime B prime. What does this look like? <coughs> I give you ten more seconds, okay? Because th that's what I was thinking like this morning before I went to work, okay? I was driving to work and 
before I went to work, yeah, I woke up in the morning, like, I put the alarm clock at 4.30, then 5, then 5.30 in the morning, then 6, then 6.30, on my cell phone, okay, I charge my cell phone, and then I put the alarm clock, it rings like five times before I finally wake up. <laughs> Hold my ass and roll out of the bed. Uh, and it takes a lot of alarm clock, this timing, okay? Thank God, thank goodness that we have cell phone. <laughs> I can put multiple alarm clock time. So yeah, uh, I was thinking about this after my second or third alarm clock ran off because I wanted to get to the bottom of this and I got it, okay? God gave it to me, okay? So I thought about it, thought about it. Oh, okay, yeah, it kind of rings a bell, you know. Back in the day when I was majoring in computer science in some Midwestern state university in America, yeah, there was this bitwise end operation bitwise and operation okay yeah it was kind of like that okay so I will tell you all about it all right it's kind of epiphany epiphany moment but it was a miracle I was just recollecting remembering what I have learned in school 20 years ago okay it's not like I'm not no I'm no Srinivasa Ramanujan okay in India, no, God doesn't tell me some miraculous things. No, it's something I remember when what I learned 20 years ago uh, when I was uh, an undergrad, undergraduate university student. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, so it's that. All right, so okay, A, B, A prime, B, A, B prime, A prime, B prime. It looks like zero 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 one one zero one one okay so enumeration of binary numbers okay that's all it is okay we posited that uh, a prime is like minus a Okay, so we can express this as, now we need more room, so I gotta move this eraser, okay? I hope this excites you, because I was very excited when I realized it kind of bino binary number enumeration, okay? Oh. Yeah, we're having some problem. I'm sorry. We are having some problem here, okay? It's not exactly pretty, but whatever. We'll sort it out later, okay? So you have zero 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 one one zero one one, but they're all auditions, so we can switch around because uh, this uh, plus audition operator is kind of commutative. Okay, so yeah, we can switch around the ordering. Okay, so we are cheating a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. <sighs> Oh. 
Okay, so is it time to take a break yet? I guess not. Okay. So. Can you read all this? All this superscript? Power operation, power number. Can you read this? <laughs> this is very important. I need you to read this, okay? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. I'm myopic, nearsighted, okay? So if I don't wear my glasses, I cannot see these things clearly. And sometimes that's what I want, okay? If I go to supermarket, yeah, I mean, I don't want to pay attention to all these unnecessary details, what people are wearing, what they look like. So I take my glasses off, it's all blurry and it's very comfortable because it's reducing this input data that I don't really need, okay? I don't want to pay attention to all these unnecessary details, so I take my glasses off, so it's good that I'm nearsighted, myopic, so I have a choice. If I do want to see the details, yeah, I put my glasses on. If I'm tired and I don't want to see anything, then I take my glasses off. Okay, so yeah, it's a good thing. I have, a, I have an option. Because if you are, have 20-20 vision, 20-20 eyesight, everywhere you go, you get to see all those gory details that you don't necessarily want to see but now that I'm nearsighted and what uh, what's that word fancy word for nearsightedness myopic okay I have a choice okay I take care I can take my glasses on and off and if I'm tired I take my glasses off because I don't want to see a shit okay if I do if I'm at work, if I'm looking for something in this aisles of the supermarket, then yeah, I take my glasses on. I put my glasses on, okay. Anyways, I'm just sh bullshitting, okay. <laughs> Shinani gunning, just relaxing, okay. So, ah, <sighs> son of a bitch, okay. I'm sorry, excuse my language. Why do you have to switch this ordering, man? Ah, whatever. Okay. And it turns out it doesn't really matter, okay? This ordering because it's all plus, okay? You can switch around the ordering, okay? All that matters is that uh, we express fully, exhaustively, we enumerate, okay, all these different possibilities, all right? That's all that matters. We, we start gener generalizing this to I, I, J, and K. And uh, that's what we're going to do for the next hour, all right? We are clim climbing up the mountain, okay? So if you know mathematics, computer science, then you will be able to follow me. Okay, to Sinai Mountain to see the truth. Boolean algebraic God. Okay, <laughs> if you want to know about this, if you want to follow us, yeah, catch up. Okay, Boolean algebra, binary numbers, yeah, it's free online, Wikipedia. All these beautiful, wonderful, good Samaritans who create these websites for free. Yeah, you can do it for free in the internet, okay? As long as you pay the bills, internet bills, okay? Then, yeah, you can catch up, okay? I want you to, okay? We want you to catch up with us, okay? 
because why? This is something President Trump does not know, or any other politicians may not know. Okay. Knowledge is power, just like British philosopher, empiricist philosopher Francis Bacon said, knowledge is power. You know something, you have some knowledge, then you can create something based upon the knowledge, good knowledge. Not some fucking gay marriage, transgender, marijuana, tattoo piercing, all that plastic surgery, ultra intellectualism. All that sugar fetishism, all that, those are bad ideologies, okay? But good knowledge, lean, slender, muscular knowledge, it will empower you. You will be able to invent something if you have good knowledge. It's the Holy Spirit, okay? We are in Jesus land right here, okay? We are in this meta metaphysical, mathematical heaven, paradise, okay? If you are here, yeah, you got you get good knowledge, you can make new theories, knowledge, you can make brand new invention, okay? That's the value of education. It's for the betterment of humanity, okay? You can make a lot of money too, okay? That's why people go to school, to learn something, good things, okay? Nowadays, school, schools, they don't teach good things, okay? That's why I'm teaching you, because schools are not doing their job, okay? It's time to take a break, okay? We'll continue after a break, all right? So, please, bear it with me, okay? We'll be back. Take five. No homework assignment in this break, okay? So take five. Relax.
Okay, we're back. Um, so, we'll just jump right into the, this generalization, alright? So, well, before that, we gotta do some. Even if you major in computer science or you know a lot of mathematics, uh, still, it's like context switch. Maybe you are studying tensor calculus or calculus, whatever, geometry, whatever. Maybe you are not exactly studying Boolean algebra nowadays, okay? So, yeah, you need some context switch. So, we're gonna erase all this, okay? And uh, are you ready? <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because. I'm not sure if I can remember all this because I need to, okay? Because we gonna, we are going to review some basics in Boolean algebra, okay? In computer programming, okay? Because computer programming, computer science can be thought as a branch of mathematics, okay? It's a very mathematical, logical, logic, philosophical logic. Especially Boolean logic, okay? So, I, I, I major in computer science. It's like I don't have any higher degree, but yeah, I went to some Ivy League school. And they say it's low Ivy League, but it's still Ivy League in the Eastern Coast, right? Yeah, I was in, I belong to computer science department, okay? And I was specializing in computational biology, okay? so. Yeah, I studied for two years there. Okay, so technically it wasn't exactly a master's degree, but I could have gotten one, okay? Because I studied a lot, right? But I didn't meet the requirement, so I just dropped out <laughs> to become a movie star. That was my aspiration. I wanted to be an actor, you know. Oh yeah, Hollywood, this shining star over Hollywood sky, that's where I want to be, so, you know, just stupid boyish dream, because I'm stupid, okay, I'm just like a boy, boy at heart, I'm just like a child, okay, trying to be cute, okay, how does my hair look like, <laughs> is this a boyish hair or? Balding man's hair, trying to cover up his balding spot. <laughs> Whatever, okay. Some man, mad, homeless, whatever bullshit. <laughs> a guy who tried to impress a girl on the street by what, buying some fancy suits and ties. You know, second-hand store, like thrifty store, <laughs> for for four dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. <laughs> Faker, pretender, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, so and this this is the pen that came up, came with for free. It came with this board. Okay, so we're gonna use that. First time, it's like, this guy is like a virgin, virgin pen, okay? All right. We'll do some uh, computer programming a little bit, okay? There's what's called bitwise operation, Boolean operation, bitwise. It's like this, okay? You have some Boolean number, okay? One, one, zero. Is it too thin? Ah, uh, you can see it. One, one, okay? Now, bitwise, in the computer programming, bitwise and operation is this. Okay? Logical and, this is a bitwise and. Logical and is this. And n percent, n percent, okay? So, one, n percent, n percent, 
zero is equal to what? Zero. It's just logical end. And one and percent and percent one is one. Okay, so logical end. End gate. Okay, end gate. Same as uh, n percent n percent. Okay, but bitwise n percent. Bitwise end operation is like this. Okay. Let's say we have zero one one zero one. Okay, bitwise end operation is single n percent. Okay. Is this okay? One and zero is zero. One and one is one. Okay. Zero and one is zero. One and zero is zero. Okay. One and one is one. Okay. So that's the bitwise and operation. It's, it's denoted as single and percent. Okay. That's a uh, like com in a computer programming world because we need this operation. Okay, I mean, come on, it's computer software, right? It's complex. It's, we need a lot of different kinds of operators. All right. Okay, now it's something I learned in when I was majoring in computer science in the Midwestern American University. Okay. Because back in the days, they taught good things like this, all right? Science, mathematics. So I was fortunate enough to be born in American 70s, so that when I was in undergrad, schools, universities, they used to be still good, very good. Nowadays, all they teach is what? Gay marriage, marijuana, ultra interracialism, teenage dating, tattoos, piercings. That's all they teach in schools, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any kids. I don't know what they teach. Whatever. Maybe there are some professors and teachers who teach good things, who try to do the right thing. Yeah, hopefully. Look at me. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a professor. I'm not getting paid by teaching you all this. But I'm trying to do the right thing. Okay? I don't think I'm alone in this fight. War. Okay, to do the right thing. Okay? Probably, probably, yeah, there are some teachers and professors who, and parents who is who are trying very hard to teach their children, their students the right things, good things. Okay, maybe they are there. Okay, oh, well. hopefully. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. So this that's the bitwise end, n percent. Okay, it's like a. Pen is so short. Yeah, n percent appreciation. Okay. <laughs> okay. And in computer science, there is this concept of masking or extraction. Extraction. Okay. So you have some random number. Okay, like zero one one zero one. Okay, you want to extract the fourth digit. You want to ignore everything else using this uh, bitwise end operation. Okay. It extracts this guy. Wow. Everything else is zeroed out. Now, what should this number be?
That's my question to you. Okay? I'm gonna give you like one minute. Bitwise and operator, okay? okay? Digit by digit, okay? And, 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 okay? What should this number be? That's my question to you. It's called marking or extraction, okay? I would rather call it extraction, but they used to call it marking, okay? I will give you like one minute, all right? <sighs> we have to preserve and protect the fourth element and we want to ignore the rest. Extraction. It's like marking, okay? What would this number be in this bitwise end operation? Boolean number, that's the uh, unknown that you want to find out, that I'm asking you to find out, okay? Okay, I, I think it's been about one minute. Okay, so your time is up, all right? So, it's this. You ready? Okay. It's very easy. Okay. It's kind of rhyming, right? Are you ready? It's very easy. E e e e. Okay. <laughs> zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Zero and zero, zero. One and one, one. Zero and um, one and zero, zero. Zero and zero, zero. One and zero, zero. Okay? If this had been zero, zero and one is also zero. So it preserved that because some x and one is always x. So it's preserving that x. Okay, so okay. Okay, you have uh, what, uh, Y, X, Z, W, K, okay? And you do the end operation, bitwise, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 then Y and zero is zero because you are end, you're ending it with zero, okay? X and one is always X and zero, zero, zero. You're extracting X. You're putting X on the highlight. You're extracting it, okay? This is a marking operation, all right? Bitwise end operation. Okay. Just in case you don't understand what what I'm saying, I will spell it out for you. Okay. Bit wise. Bit wise and look it up. You find it. Just look at the Google being yeah bitwise and operation operator yeah it's, it's it's in the textbook okay something very famous okay so you have that okay all right uh, it's not time exactly we have nine minutes before we take a break all right so we will be diligent. We won't be lazy, okay? Do you see me? I'm drunk. I've been drinking this vodka, Alaskan vodka drinks, for more than two hours. 
I'm still functional and working, okay, so. But don't drink and drive, bro, because that's dangerous and it's illegal, okay. You don't want to get injured in a car accident and injure other people. Yeah, don't drink and drive, okay. So. Drink at home, okay. If you drink in a restaurant or a bar or a club, sometimes I do too. Yeah, then just get sober before you drive. Eat something, drink water, drink orange juice, pineapple juice, cranberry juice. Wait until you get sober, okay? And have breathalyzer in your car, okay? Yeah, test it, all right? And uh, make sure you get sober before you drive, okay? I don't want you to get into any trouble. Right? Don't kill yourself in a car accident. Don't kill other people in a car accident. And don't get arrested from DUI. No. Just wait a little, okay? <laughs> so what I'm asking. Okay? And in your car, have some sleeping bags. I do. I have sleeping bag. I have a whole tenting gear. I hold this. I have this extra lighter and in my car. I have an SUV. Okay, so because I I'm living in Alaska. Okay, so sometimes yeah, I go to you know remote Alaska somewhere. Yeah, my car can break down and I can still survive because I can make a fire, okay? I have lighter, extra lighters, even this flint and stone kit, fire making kit, I have it in my car because my car is SUV, sport utility vehicle, it's big, okay? I have full tenting gear, sleeping bag, and I know how to make a fire. So yeah, even if my car break down out of in the middle of nowhere, yeah, I can still survive in the middle of Alaska winter, okay? So I'm ready, okay? I have some MREs, you know, meals ready to eat. Yeah, I have these chocolate bars, whatever. I have all that stuff in my car, okay? I have plastic bags, napkins, medicine, everything. Okay, so, yeah, we have five more minutes before we take a break, okay, final break, I mean, in this episode, okay, so, all right, so, uh, let's not be lazy and, <laughs> oh boy, So we have F of A and B, right? Look at me, I'm drunk, but I'm still, I can still write this equation, okay? Because alcohol is good and tobacco is good too, okay? It does not destroy your memory, but, but, but marijuana destroys your memory. So you cannot remember a shit, okay? Alcohol, yeah, I'm drunk, but I can still remember, okay? Marijuana is bad. Okay. It destroys your short-term memory. Short-term memory. Don't do marijuana, right? So. All right. So FB, F A or B is uh, is equal to F one one A. Minus one zero A B plus F one two minus one <sighs> one. <laughs> I guess I'm drunk, okay? Ah, oh, boy, but yeah, I make mistakes, but. Times minus one zero B 
plus f 1 2 uh, minus 1 0 a times minus 1 1 b okay plus f 2 1 minus 1 1 a minus 1 0 b plus f 2 2 a uh, minus 1 1 a minus 1 1 b okay so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so we got it okay so um So maybe we don't quite need masking here, okay? Because uh, yeah, maybe this is better way to do it, okay? So, uh, but uh, we have. One more minute before <laughs> we take a break because um, the next stage is where we have A, B, and C. All right. The next next stage would be the A one, A two, A three, A four, A five. It's like n dimensional. Okay. When this func Boolean function f have n Boolean function f has n variables from A1 to AN, okay? So that's our objective. It's like our uh, holy grail, okay? So generalized kernel map in one single line, okay? That's what we are trying to find, okay? Oh boy, it's not easy, okay. Uh, <sighs> Maybe we do need that marking, you know, bitwise and operation because, um, yeah, I think we do, okay? Uh, yeah, we do, right? Because uh, you have this number that going from 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? And, okay? We call it K, okay? K is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? It runs from 0 to uh, 2 to the 2 to the second minus 1, okay? Like 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? 2 to the, three, two to the second is 4, right? Okay, so yeah, there's this running constant, okay, kind of. And we want to extract, when it comes to A, we want to extract the fourth digit, okay? When it comes to B, we want to extract the second digit, okay? Yeah. 
we still need that marking function like this a bit wise end all right it's time to take a break and after we take a break and we get to the bottom of this okay in this x file episode very smart they say like all the nuts roll down to florida <laughs> All the nuts roll down to Florida. Oh man. The X Files episode about, I think it was sixth season, um, Agua Mala, bad water. Okay, I think it's in Spanish or Portuguese. Agua Mala, bad water. So, Mulder and Scully, they went down to Florida and they, people said, oh yeah, all the nuts roll down to Florida. Okay, oh, so funny. And they say uh, they met this, met this uh, FBI, retired FBI agent, and he said, yeah, you're going to go out there in the storm if you want to get to the bottom of this. And Agent Scully says, oh, yeah, you know how to get to the bottom of this whiskey bottle something like that okay it's so funny all right we get to the bottom of this after break okay so all right take five okay see i'm drunk but i can walk i can coordinate my muscle my movement very precisely why because i know my charge okay I know how to drink and control myself, okay? That's what I want you to learn, all right? You drink at home, that's fine, okay? But you should be in control of yourself, you know? It's like Chinese martial arts, right? You're in control, upright, no matter how drunk you are. Can you see me? Yeah. You don't make excuses like, oh, I'm drunk, so I can do whatever I want. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, Chinese martial arts is drunken style. Yeah, Kung Fu, drunken style, right? Chinese in the 1970s, Jackie Chan and this guy with this hat, cap, mustaches, mustache. Yeah, they made this movie, Chinese movie in 1970s, Drunken Master, right? Yeah, the Chinese poem go with this drunken style martial art, like, yeah, your body is drunk, but your, sp your spirit is as clear as a silver mirror, okay? Yeah, you know, ooh, you know, okay? Yeah, so be in control when you are drunk. Okay, so don't make excuse, pretense that oh yeah I can do anything because I have no excuse. I'm drunk, you know. Yeah, so it was all out of my drunkenness, all these mistakes. Don't do that. Okay. Oh yeah, I punched punched this guy. I had I raped this girl. It's okay because I'm dr I was drunk. No. <laughs> That doesn't work in American courts, okay? If you are voluntarily drunk, it does not excuse you, okay? You, you will go to jail, so. Don't make excuse, okay? Learn from me. Don't listen to anybody else. Learn only from me, okay? And nobody else, okay? I'm drunk right now, okay? But I'm in control. I'm controlling myself. I'm controlling myself, okay? That's what I want you to learn from me. Because I learned from my father. My father learned from my father's father, okay? It's, it's Far East Asian tradition, okay? Chinese, Korean, Japanese, okay? When you're drunk, you're fighting against this intoxication. It's, a, it's an opportunity for you to 
learn about self-discipline. Okay? You're drunk, your body is drunk, but you're fighting against this intoxication effect. Okay? You try to walk straight. You try to be in control. Okay? That's Far Eastern Asian philosophy about drinking. Okay, because in Asia, China, Korea, Japan, drinking is a virtue. Okay, it gives you opportunity to test yourself. Okay, so that you can learn to control yourself because it's not easy when you are drunk to control yourself. Okay. Western drinking is like this. Oh, yeah, I'm drunk, so I have an excuse. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. I can commit crimes, rape, steal, punch somebody. I will get away with it. But <laughs> that's not American law. Okay, That's not a law in any country, okay? You get drunk and you get in trouble. You, you voluntarily intoxicated yourself so it's no excuse okay so okay so learn from me okay you drunk don't drive not yet okay get a motel room okay call a taxi cab or have a designated driver you cannot just start driving okay yeah be in control of yourself okay We'll take a break and we'll get back to this, okay? Sure. Alright, look at me, okay? I'm drunk, but hey, it's a narrow aisle. But uh, I just hit this pole, but yeah, okay? I can walk very straight, you know? Like this. Okay, so learn from me, okay? Be in control when you're drunk, okay? Alright, we'll take a break and we'll be right back okay we have 20 minutes left okay all right i'm still cooking my dinner
Okay, we are back. Uh, we have what? 10 minutes left. 15. Okay. Ah, good enough. Good enough time. All right. Ah, so how do we do this? Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh boy. So we have this two dimensional thing, okay? Now we're gonna expand this to third dimension, alright? It's a lot of leg work, okay? It's It's a brand new whiteboard today, okay? I just opened it, purchased it, opened it. I bought it from Walmart and it's already getting messy. Ah, boy. We are working very hard here, okay? So. Ah. We have 12, 12 minutes left, okay? Man. Ah, boy. Long, long night. Happy Friday, by the way. Okay, so after this, you know, yeah, like yesterday, the day before yesterday, I tried to dance. I wanted to go to a bar club, but I didn't. I was too drunk and too tired, sleepy. So I ate some food and I went to sleep, okay? Next day, I went back to work. That's what happened. Whole week, okay? Ah, because I'm working full time. I'm doing this after work. So after that, I have nothing left. I gotta eat and sleep, okay? All right. So, um, three variable Boolean algebra, okay? Oh boy. You have F of A, B, and C, okay? Goes like this. Okay, you have zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. Zero one 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 zero 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 I mean one zero one 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 zero then one 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 so zero one two three four five six seven uh we're missing something Oh yeah, it's, we are not missing anything, okay? So it's eight numbers from zero to seven, okay? <sighs> We're gonna change the indexing, okay? We we have to start from zero, okay? I mean, in computer, progr computer programming world, Visual Basic, they try to be more like colloquial, conversational, secular, okay? It starts from zero, I mean, it starts from one. In a for loop, in a visual basic, or COBOL, whatever. Yeah, it starts from one to n, but in a more conservative, traditional, computer programming language like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, the index of an array or in a for loop is start from zero in it goes to n minus one okay in more secular more liberal okay, democratic computer programming languages like COBOL or basic visual basic you go from one to n okay so but here we are dealing with mathematics okay so we have to be 
sorry, a little bit more conservative and Republican. Okay. <laughs> we have to go from zero to n minus one. Okay. I programmed in both liberal programming languages like Visual Basic, COBOL, and I also programmed in more conservative, old school, like C, C++, C Sharp, Java. I programmed in both worlds. I'm half liberal, half conservative, okay? But here we are in mathematics, so we have to be old school, okay? So forgive me, okay, if you are liberal, because half of me is liberal too, okay? Like liberal, conservative is like mother and father, okay? Soft love, tough love, okay? All right, so is it equal to f small f zero 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 minus one zero a minus one zero b multiply by multiply by minus one zero C okay <sighs> and it goes on like this okay Plus like F one F we do what just one more okay zero zero one all right minus one zero a times minus one zero b times minus one one c okay plus blah 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 you got the idea okay plus what f one 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 minus one one a times minus one one b times minus one one c okay so how do we express this you know compact condense neither and shorter form Okay. Uh, well, it's sigma, right? Sigma. Uh, boy. You have f. You have so you should have some running index, right? Let's say i, okay, i is equal to from zero to seven, all right? We will not get to this holy grail of generalized carb, this carno, not carbono, <laughs> carno equation. We are not going to get there today. We have to do it tomorrow to complete it, okay? Because we only have five minutes, okay? Less 30 seconds. Right, so so this is i right from zero 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 to one one one. So it's i is equal to zero to seven. That's f i. Okay, now minus one something a times minus one something. And the power, okay, to the right upper shoulder, okay, B times minus one power something then C, okay. What goes in this three slots here, here, the power of minus one, okay, the, uh, 
upper right shoulder, okay? Okay, what goes in each of this? Ah, boy. I'm running out of water and I panic when I run out of water. Ah, or vodka, or cigarette, or milk. Okay. I don't panic when the food run out because well, food is not that important in my life. I would panic when I run out of this pen. Okay. Pen is mildder than sugar and fat food. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Let me stop shenanigans. Okay. So let me stop bullshitting. Okay. So. <sighs> Okay. It's this, okay? It's I bitwise and operation. Okay? Of one. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, and I bitwise operation, bitwise end operation of two, and I. Bitwise up, bitwise end operation three. Okay. When I z I is what zero zero zero, then it take the first one, second one, and third one. Okay. If I is zero zero one, okay. Here you take first one, second one, and third one. Okay. Uh. No, that's not correct. <sighs> we only have one minute, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. It should be one zero zero, okay? It's the idea, okay, but this is incorrect, okay, but idea is right, so we continue on this tomorrow, okay, because we only have 20 seconds left, okay, and I gotta eat, I gotta sleep, I gotta put on, put on some nice clothing, and, okay, okay, we continue this tomorrow, okay, thank you, thank you for being patient, bye.